Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and this is a quick little video uh, talking to you about the weather app that's included in Windows 8. Um, most of the computers that I've seen have this app already there. Uh, Microsoft actually has its own weather app in Windows uh, in the Windows Start screen. Now there are two ways to actually add your city to that app and that is often the problem. One of the features in Windows 8 is its ability to actually pinpoint where you are located in the world. Now some people turn off that feature so the computer can't actually find its way and that causes a problem in some of the apps that actually are dependent on location to give you the good information. Click on the bottom on the on the bottom on the on the weather app. It's somewhere on your screen. Um, I have it here at the bottom, and when you click on it, it's actually um, an app with a uh, little sun icon. I'll actually close it here, and if you click on it, you'll see the sun when the blue screen, and that's the uh, weather app which is the Bing weather app probably. Now this is my own location, it finds the home location correctly. And yes, you might say, wow, it's really cold where you are. It is very cold and we are uh, having a small snowstorm today too. So uh, quite uh, a great time to make videos indoors. <laughs> um, in that app, you can actually uh, make it find your own location. And how you do that, well, if you simply right click on the app, you'll see that the top bar and the bottom bar will show up. If your computer is set up properly to find its location in the world, then you can click the little current location on the bottom right and this will hopefully find where you are and give you the good weather. But if it doesn't find it, then you have another option to manually add your city. And that's on the left side. If you go on the left side at the bottom, you'll see change home. And if you click that, you'll have enter location. And all you have to do is simply find the location that you want to find. And click on the city and click add at the, the right. Another um, way to um, enjoy the weather app is that sometimes you want to have multiple locations. So if you have a, you want to have multiple locations then you have places and you can add a city. So on the bottom you see the tile with a little plus sign on it here just add the city you want to have. So for example, if I enter, I want to know what's the weather like in um, San Francisco. I'll click that and click add or enter. And you see that now I have two favorites in my computer. So I have Montreal. And if I want to have the San Francisco weather, I'll just right click and into the places I'll click into San Francisco to have San Francisco weather which is much more interesting and enjoyable as I can see from our Montreal weather and of course on the upper right you can click the little back button and it's gonna bring you from one city to the next so it's pretty cool because you can have multiple cities um, if you have a uh, maybe you have a uh, little house somewhere um, apart from your home and you want to add the, the city where it is uh, like here we have uh, I, I go a lot skiing up north to Mont Tremblant so that's one thing I might want to add here is what's the weather like there so that if I want to ski well you know I'll be able to uh, find the weather easily on my weather app on the computer so uh, it's, it's a nice little app uh, of course you might have a local app. Uh, here we have uh, the weather, the weather channel, the weather network. 
that also has its own app about the weather in Canada. Uh, but if you don't download any other apps, I actually found that the Bing Weather app in Windows 8 is not that bad actually. And it's visually nice because it will show you kind of a little lookout of what's probably the weather outdoor with the background picture of the app which is pretty nice. And of course you've got your weather forecast at the bottom which is also really really nice. So uh, this was how to uh, actually add your city to the weather app if it's not already done. Two ways, uh, automatic or manual. Now you know how to do it. If you enjoy these videos, want to learn more about Windows 8 and the apps and all the features, click the subscribe button at the top of the screen. You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments or questions or maybe a request, let us know. We'll try to put that video online or answer any questions. And uh, hope you come back to the official Windows 8 channel. Bye-bye.